Aaron. And now at 4.30, Torrington officials are defending the decision to allow a Christian flag on the City Hall flagpole. The flag went up in a ceremony this weekend, and city officials did research in anticipation of backlash about a religious symbol being used on public property. And as Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Audrey Russo explains, there is legal precedent for allowing the flag to fly. Torrington City Hall's flagpole is featuring a different take on the red, white, and blue. The white for the, you know, the, the cleansing of our sins, the blue, the background of the earth, and the red cross, the, the blood of Christ. The pastor of the First Congregational Church, Stephen Dar, says his church asked to fly this flag on the city's flagpole for two weeks in collaboration with different denominations and in celebration of the faith community's work to provide different services to people in Torrington. We're not looking to force anything on anybody. What we're doing is just, here's the faith community within this town coming together to celebrate who Jesus is. Oh, absolutely. The flag itself isn't the issue. We have it in our church. But to people who oppose its flying on public property like Pastor Scott Cady, the concern comes from how the flag could be misinterpreted by those with less kind intentions. Is it a wise thing to do? When we know that some people are almost looking for excuses to, um, to look down on other faith groups, for example. I talked to the attorney for the city of Torrington. He declined to go on camera, but he told me that their reasoning for allowing the Christian flag to fly on the city's flagpole has to do with a 2022 Supreme Court decision. Torrington City Attorney Victor Michelle cited Shirtliff versus the City of Boston, which dealt with this exact flag and near identical circumstances. They, they just had a misunderstanding. A group asked to use the city's flagpole and got denied. The Supreme Court ruled that since other organizations had used Boston's flagpole in the past as part of a public event space, it was an open forum and not an expression of the government's views. Therefore, denying the Christian flag was a violation of the the First Amendment. Michelle said that Torrington could attempt to put a local ordinance in place restricting flagpole usage in the future. Who else is going to show up to put a flag up? You know, if, they're, if anybody can do it out of their free speech. In my opinion, it's either you can fly whatever you want or you fly the American flag and the state flag. In Torrington, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.